Hi, Hiram here. Today I'm going to try uh, the standard test that the Ottawa Outfitters said that this stove will do. This is the Ottawa Ultralight Stove 2 Kit. Uh, you've seen it in the other previous videos. But in their ad they claim that they can get one quart of water, four cups, to a boil using one fluid ounce of alcohol plus one tablespoon in the outer burner but that they can get it to a boil in seven and a half to nine and a half minutes so that's what I'm going to try here today I've got one fluid ounce of alcohol in the inner burner the economizer and one tablespoon of alcohol in this outer bin let me light this okay, it's lit I have two cups of water setting at 60 degrees That's going up pretty fast. So that was two cups of water at 60 degrees. Let me write that. In this test, I'm not going to use the windscreen. If there's enough requests for it, I'll do another one with the windscreen. But as you can see, like I've said before, if I'm not talking, there's no breeze in here. So this is pretty much the, the best way you could get to have a, a test going. I don't think if you put the screen up to it it only covers about three quarters of an inch of the bottom of the pot. I don't know how much difference that would make especially with no wind involved. So let's just let this go and we'll see how it does with a quart of water. Okay, there we have 210. Come on. Ever since eight minutes into the test, this has been in the simmer mode where it's just the inner can burning. There we have 211. So, now you got to remember, I think this is mostly a summer type stove. Right now the temperature in here is 45 degrees. It was 44 at the start of this. But uh, it's, like I said, it's been in the simmer mode since 8 minutes. A little bit before 8 minutes. Come on. There we go. 10.48. Finally reached boiling at 10 minutes 48 seconds. Let's see how long this goes until run out. Okay, the flames are going, going, gone at 2419. 2419. Interesting. Okay, let me take this off. So, that was with two cups of water starting at 60 degrees came to a boil finally in, 20, in 10 minutes 48 seconds but it had been running f since uh, a little bit before 8 minutes on the simmer mode where it's just the inner can burning but that was 2 cups 60 degrees came to a boil in 10 minutes 48 seconds and then finally ran out in 24 minutes 19 seconds again that was with no breeze or anything going through here uh, interesting. I should do a test using uh, my Trangia with this pot just to have a comparison. Okay, I'm not going to get caught twice. I'll take this off because I want to show you something when this cools down enough. Huh, that's not that hot. While I was sitting here watching this test, I was reading the instructions. Always good to read the instructions. On the bottom of the page, it gave me something that I probably should have read the other day. The other day I did a test with just the outer burner and the pot stand on there. And it says here, even though the Ottawa 2 stove will function 
without the inner economizer burner. Due to possibility of overheating and damaging the crossbars, it is not recommended or warranted. So what I did yesterday with this and the crossbars isn't a good thing. So you're on your own there. I guess what happens is this is made out of aluminum uh, flat stock. So being aluminum, it could melt. Another thing that I've had a lot of questions about is inside the economizer, the inner burner. Let's see if I can get it open. I guess this thing hasn't burned off enough yet. It still has some varnish sticking there. But I've been asked about the cotton on the inside. Uh, maybe we should, some people had requested or suggested rather, that we could use carbon felt. Be nice to maybe just throw your scrap carbon felt in here. That way you wouldn't have to change this. This has been, what, this is my fifth burn with this. And it's j the cotton, this is just plain cotton pads, is just barely browning on the edges. And it's still actually a little damp. So if this is damp, you probably won't get that much damage with it. If I was going to use this long term, though, I probably would just put carbon felt scraps in here. It would function the same way, and then you'd never have to worry about changing that again. So that's just... You know, it's up to you, but five burns on this, and it's still pretty whole. Just a bare browning on the edges. Okay, so that's another test. Like I said, I may uh, do this again, but using one of my, my Trangia burner, the Trangia burner with one of the stands, just to have a comparison with this pot, because I haven't really done much with this. I would have used my standard pot in this test but it only holds one quart up to the very top edge so that wasn't good this holds two quarts hopefully you can see that up to about here this is actually a much bigger pot but it's the only next one that I have okay I'm rambling here so I hope this helps I look forward to your input questions remarks helpful suggestions and as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.